Hi, this is John Gabriel, author and creator of The Gabriel Method, and uh, as many of you know, I lost over 220 pounds back in 2004, and I've been the same weight since, and I've dedicated my life to teaching the theory, art, and practice of permanent, sustainable weight loss. And what I want to talk about today is naps. So naps are one of those things that we all secretly want to do, especially an afternoon nap, but none of us really end up doing it because we feel like we're not being productive, and, uh, and it's a luxury. But what I want to say is naps are actually one of the most important things that you can do for your health, for your well-being, for your creativity, and for fitness and weight loss. And that's the part that's most interesting because typically when we think of weight loss, we think of burning calories or eating less, and you're not doing either. When you're taking a nap, you're not burning any calories at all. But it turns out that one of the reasons we gain weight is because of stress and exhaustion. And stress hormones activate a, a scenario in your body where you become perpetually hungry and you crave junk food. Also, when you're tired, you crave junk food. And typically in the afternoons, we're both stressed out and tired. And a nap can solve both of those things. Just taking a five or 10 minute nap, resting around three o'clock, maybe having a little snack of something healthy that keeps your blood sugar stable, will stab off junk food cravings and reduce the stress hormones that cause your body to hold on to weight. So what I suggest is you watch your patterns and what you'll notice is typically there's a certain period of time in the afternoon, somewhere, somewhere between uh, 2.30 to 4.30 or 5 when you're real tired, uh, you're not very productive, and you start craving junk food. I want you to notice when that time is and see if you can schedule just 5 or 10 minutes off a half an hour before that. So if typically around 3.30, you get real tired, you crave junk food, at three o'clock, see if you can take five or 10 minutes off just to close your eyes and take a little nap. Now, obviously it's great if you can lie down for five or 10 minutes, that's fabulous, but maybe you can close your eyes in, the, in your car in the parking lot or sit on a park bench, but just five or 10 minutes is all you need. Also, what you can do is listen to a visualization for five or 10 minutes in the afternoon at that time, because visualization done correctly puts your brain in the alpha and the theta state and it's the alpha and the theta state where you get the rejuvenating effects. Also, it's great to have a snack, as I mentioned. So the types of foods you want are healthy fats like avocado or coconut oil or ghee or butter or chia seed oil. Those are all healthy fats as well as maybe some kind of healthy protein, like some grass-fed, free-range animal protein, and something live, like a salad. So maybe having a salad with some animal protein, some chia seed oil, for example, just a couple of bites in the afternoon, combined with a nap, will work wonders for helping you change your body hormonally so that your body does not want to hold on to weight anymore and will eliminate junk food cravings. Now, if you'd like to try a visualization, as you know, at the Gabriel Method, we're always making visualizations for specific aspects of weight loss. And we have an afternoon recharge visualization that you can listen to that we've included as a link on this page. So simply press the button, close your eyes. It lasts about seven to 10 minutes and you will feel refreshed and recharged. So either way, whether you take a nap or whether you listen to visualization in the afternoon, try this stress reduction technique and you will see that it will work wonders for your productivity, creativity, energy levels, and for your fitness and weight loss. So that's it for now. Happy napping, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.